you know, we were talking about a lot of things. Mr. Samraj actually was one year my senior in uh, MBA in Michigan. And both of us uh, trained under Dr. C.K. Parala, who is also from Kalgato. So, it's a privilege that I'm here this morning uh, to be invited to deliver this address. We were talking about the northern neighbor. I think I'll be a little bold, not diplomatic. We're talking about China. So, <laughs> Uh, we are now looking at about 10 million tons of casting coming out of India and uh, China is producing about 45 million tons. They are almost about four times that than us. One secret about China is that China is probably going to go off from castings in the near future. Because uh, we have a plant there, the wages have doubled in the last 10 years. Because as uh, they don't have the population dividend, a lot of the children do not want to come to Fountain. And you know, they used to call about 996, 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. and 9 p.m. to 9 a.m. shifts, two shifts a uh, day. And they get overtime of 1.5 times. So basically, they would just be working for one and a half uh, end of salary for most of them, and for six days. That's what the parents got. Now, the younger generation wants, if possible, nine to five and no weekends, only five days, and also probably not a foundry. So the main problem that they are challenged that they are going to face is going to be on manpower. And on difficult industries, I think India has a very good chance. So it could happen that we will have at least a million tons shifting in. And a lot of the castings are going from China to US. And with the US again changing its focus from uh, China to India, we will see a great future. At this juncture, I think it's a very uh, good idea to have this uh, exhibition here once in two years. So, Coimbatore is a very important uh, center for castings and for uh, high quality castings. It will be good to have this. And I'm very happy that you're starting an institute to train people because what we lack is uh, basically a trained people. And for us in our growth, most of the growth that we have got is uh, our own trainees. We actually started a training school in 1983. The first batch came out in 86. So uh, we started with 20 students. Now we are graduating about 90 students. In all, almost about 2,500 people have come. And these are the boys who were, uh, we took to the US, we took to China, we took to various places for them to work. And they are very, very dedicated and motivated. So we have a very good uh, experience. And most of the foundries in India today, our boys are working there as uh, senior level executives. And we are very happy that uh, we've been able to contribute. And once, uh, I think PSG is another institute which is having a uh, diploma in metallurgy. Only two institutes in Bermuda to have a uh, metallurgy uh, degree. And now it's very heartening that we have the association starting a training school particularly for people who are working in the foundry, for hands-on supervisors, managers. I wish this uh, all the best, and this should be one of the best schools which is to come. And definitely, uh, we need a lot of training because we're going to have almost this industry <coughs> doubling in size in the next 10 years. I wish the Institute and the exhibition all the best. I'd like to thank you all for giving me this opportunity. Thank you.